Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all keeping well. My name's Liz and for anyone new who's joined, I am not an historian. I'm just someone who is extremely passionate about history and I love to share all of that passion with all of you wonderful lot. So today's video is going to be all about Adela of Normandy. Now if you haven't heard that name before, don't worry there's probably quite a lot who hasn't. Now, Adela of Normandy was a sister to Henry I, youngest daughter of William the Conqueror and mother to Stephen of Blois. <laughs> you know I can't pronounce it, it ain't gonna get any better. So if she is someone you are interested in, then please do stay right where you are. <laughs> Adela was the youngest daughter uh, born to William the Conqueror and Matilda of Flanders. Now, some sources suggest that Adela was born around 1061 or 1062. However, there's other sources that actually suggest that she was born after the Norman Conquest, as there's a contemporary poem that suggests that she was born the daughter of a king. Adela had at least eight siblings with four sisters and four brothers and Adela was well educated as a child, possibly from tutors or through residency in a convent, which was um, quite normal for daughters of nobility at that time. A marriage was arranged to Simon Crispin, Count of Amiens, I want to say, I hope that's right, um, when Adela was a child, but Simon chose to become a monk. Adela was then betrothed to Stephen of Blore, can't pronounce it, Count of Blore, when Adela was 15 and Stephen was around 20 years her senior. The couple had around 10 children and their eldest son, William, was disinherited at an early age as Adela described her son as an idiot. It appeared that William may have had a form of learning difficulties. I'm not quite sure because there's not an awful lot known about him, which I think is a real shame. Um, but however, William married. He married Agnes, the daughter of Giles, Lord of Sully, and William, not allowed to inherit the richer county of Blore, this went to their his younger brother Theobald. Now Adela appeared to have inherited her father's strong will and interest in politics. She took an active role in the administration of her husband's lands where she became a noted power broker and she was renowned for her wealth and generosity. When Stephen became count in his own right, Adela participated in all non-military aspects of lordship she served as a virtual co-ruler alongside her husband in 1095 stephen joined the first crusade adela was left as the head of the family and regent of his domains in letters that were sent from stephen to adela it indicated of a great affection and trust between the two However, when Stephen returned from the crusade early, Adela wasn't overly happy. She believed that Stephen hadn't fulfilled his crusader's vow and she ordered him to return to the Holy Lands in 1101. Stephen was then killed in combat during the siege of Ramallah in May 1102. Their second eldest son, Theobald, succeeded Stephen as Count of Blore. Following Stephen's death, Adela continued to act as regent until Theobald had reached his majority. Even after he came of age, Theobald and Adela 
ruled jointly until Adela chose to retire from public life in 1120. Adela was also close to her younger brother, Henry I of England, and she even supported him against their eldest brother, Robert Curthose, when Henry claimed the crown after their brother, William Rufus, was killed in a hunting accident. Adela, being an able administrator and negotiator, ne negotiator, she had settled many disputes among monasteries in her own domain and further, Adela was praised but for her skills as a negotiator and peacemaker by Anselm, Archbishop of Canterbury during the reign of William Rufus and Henry I, following her success at achieving a temporary truce between the two in 1105. Adela and Stephen's youngest son Henry was dedicated to the church at an early age and he was raised in the priory of, I want to pronounce it as Cluny, I don't think it's Cluny, I'm not but I think it's Cluny, in France 1129. Henry was nominated as Bishop of Winchester and he was a great support to his older brother Stephen when he claimed the English throne on the death of their uncle King Henry in 1135, which resulted in the anarchy. Adela remained an active ruler and she regularly toured the family's domains both as regent and mother of the reigning count. Adela had maintained skill links with the Anglo-Norman and Capetian kings. In 1101, Adela sent knights to help Philip I of France's son, Louis, um, battle against rebels um, north of Paris. But by 1107, Theobald had joined the revolt and relations with France deteriorated further. In 1113, when the allied forces of Theobald, Henry and Adela defeated a Capetian and Angevin army in 1118, after a further conflict, Adela used her wealth and diplomatic skills to benefit her family. Adela stopped using the title of Countess and in 1120, she retired to a priory. Adela, though, continued to be an active in political affairs, and she lived to see her son, Stephen, claim the throne of England. However, not the 20-year civil war, the anarchy. Adela had been widowed for half of her life, aged almost 70, Adela was a remarkable woman for her time. Adela died possibly on the 8th of March 1137. Some sources suggested that she was buried with her mother at Holy Trinity in Khan. Other sources say that she was buried in Marsingi. I don't think I pronounced that right. I probably butchered it and I completely apologise. <laughs> but there is Adela's story. I think she deserved to have her story told. And just like it is throughout history, unfortunately, there's just not an awful lot known. But I thought what I could find, I would tell her story. I don't know how to end these videos. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Anyway, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little short one this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and keep being amazing because you're all bloody amazing. And that's it. That's it for me. I Tonight, I'm having a girls' night out. And me and friends are going to see Johannes from Strictly. Ah! I am so excited. I cannot wait. I'm literally buzzing. I cannot wait. I love Strictly Come Dancing and Johannes is the most amazing dancer. He's just, oh, I love him. Anyway, and breathe. <laughs> so whatever you get up today, enjoy yourself. Are you going to be watching the King's Coronation? Or would you have watched the King's Coronation by the time this goes out? Would you have watched it? Would you? I'm going to watch it because um, it's history. 
it's history in the making you know some of us may never get the chance to see it again so we have to you know anyway anyway i'm going to stop rambling and whatever you do enjoy yourselves be good look after yourselves and i'll see you all soon